How's it going, Eliminators? Today, we're gonna to be looking at some plastic snowblower wheels manufactured by MTD that were recalled due to a safety risk. Why you wanna replace them and how you can possibly get a set for free. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So today we're working on this little Yard Machines two-stage snowblower. Very small snowblower here. It has a five and a half horsepower, 195 cc Tecumseh engine, and it is a 22 inch cut. You guys can see it there. And today we're going to be discussing the recall that happened to the original factory wheels that were made out of plastic. So over here on the workbench, I have the original wheels that came off of this snowblower here. They're incredibly small. There's not much size to them at all. However, the inner wheel itself was made out of this black plastic. And one of the reasons why they did this recall, which we'll get into in a moment, is because people were over inflating these tires. And what would happen is these could end up exploding and some people did actually get injured due to pieces of plastic flying through the air at a high rate of speed. So in today's quick little video, I'm just gonna be going over all of the information in that recall, the service kit that they came out with, and basically giving you guys a couple different ways on how you can upgrade your old plastic wheels to new metal ones. So getting right into it, back in October of 2006, MTD started getting complaints that some people were getting injured due to the plastic wheel bursting and injuring some of the operators of the snowblower. So there was a recall issued for essentially what was identified as just a defective product, something that should have never have been manufactured and sent out to the public. Now the affected models of this recall was just limited to Craftsman, Yard Machines, and Troy Built because I did have one of these machines come in that was a white outdoors. So literally identical to this Yard Machines here other than just branded differently and it already had the metal upgraded wheels installed on it. And these machines here were sold between 2004 and 2006 and retailed for a price of anywhere between five and $800. Now, when this recall was issued in October of 2006, there were approximately 130,000 units from Canada that were recalled. And again, they did have reports that some of their operators were getting injured. It says here under the incidents or injuries, MTD received reports of 16 injuries, including fractured fingers, a broken toe, and some facial lacerations. So as you could imagine, maybe your tire goes flat during the summer season. You go to put some air into it. You're holding onto the tire here and you're filling up the valve stem right there. But you don't read that this plastic wheel says inflate to 20 PSI. Maybe you put 30 or 40 PSI into this tiny little tire here and the plastic wheel simply cannot contain that force and thus cracks and explodes. Next thing you know, it's sending shrapnel all over the place. And unfortunately, some people did end up getting hurt. Now, as we can see on the printout to the left here, MTD did come out with a service advisory or a service bulletin, and that number is going to be an MTD-098. Essentially, that's going to cover this service kit that they came out with here, which is a part number 753-10984. Now the parts affected are listed here for Yard Machine, Troy Built, and Sears Craftsman. These numbers will only exist as part of this service kit. If you try to search for these parts now, you will no longer be able to find them online or through MTD's parts portal because they no longer exist. You will not be able to purchase the plastic wheels anymore. Now, if you order this service kit here, you will end up getting two metal wheels with tires and valve stems. You'll get two new bolts and washers, as well as two plastic spacers and washers that go in behind those spacers. You can see all the list of the contents of this service kit right there. So as you could imagine, changing out these wheels is pretty straightforward. You simply undo the bolt right there, slide the old wheel off. It should not be rusted to the metal axle because the old wheel is made out of plastic. Then what I would recommend is putting some nickel anises or some type of marine grade grease or even low temperature grease such as an NLGI number two onto the axle shaft before you install the new metal wheel. And just like that, you'll now have two brand new wheels and tires installed on your machine at no cost to you. But how do you go ahead and get those wheels from MTD? Well, you're gonna need to look at your model and serial number sticker down below. So coming down to where the bottom access panel is here, the model number will indicate which brand of snowblower it is, whether it's a Yard Machines, 
Troy Bilt or Sears Craftsman. And you'll have to record the serial number as well because that will not only indicate the year of manufacturing, but the serial number will also indicate which machine you have specifically so that MTD doesn't double up on a warranty claim or send multiple tires out for the same machine. So for example, if someone was to try to use the model and serial number off of this machine to try to claim some new tires, they wouldn't actually be able to do that because the model and serial number off of this particular machine has already been entered into the recall database. So how do you go about getting the new set of metal wheels from MTD? Well, over here, I've printed out the phone number that you can call to contact MTD. And if you call this number between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern time, Monday through Friday, you can provide the customer service representative with your model and serial number. And as long as your particular snowblower's model and serial number has not been entered into the recall database, then you should be good to go. They're gonna send you a kit absolutely for free. And you're gonna lock out because if you have tires that are in rough condition, you're gonna get a brand new set because they do come fully assembled. So for example, on this wheel here, it does have a small hairline crack, so this tire would never hold air. And because of that, this machine was sitting like this on a flat tire, and you guys can see that tire is severely weather cracked, whereas the other wheel that still was holding air is in relatively good condition apart from some cracking on the tires. So you won't have to worry about uh, getting new metal wheels and then having to reinstall your old tires or going out and buying a new set of tires. They're gonna come completely assembled as you saw on the snowblower there. Now you might be wondering, how does a machine that has been recalled in the past for a defective product like that plastic wheel not be fixed on a snowblower in 2022 if this snowblower was manufactured in 2006? Well, here's a perfect example. My customer purchased this snowblower brand new in 2006. However, he never gave the store he bought it from his phone number. So if the store was alerted by MTD about a possible recall, they would have no way of contacting my customer by phone to alert him of the recall. Additionally, if you're not registering your products online like you would with pretty much any product of value these days, the manufacturer knows that that product exists, but they can't contact you to remedy the situation. Now I did say that there were going to be a couple different ways on how you can get a set of tires. One of them is going to be contacting MTD and getting them sent to you for free. Another way is if you're an MTD dealer, you can order these parts directly through MTD and then file the warranty claim yourself. And that's exactly what I did. So I paid out of pocket for these wheels. And then once I got them installed and sent some pictures off through the warranty claim in my MTD dealer portal, I then submitted the warranty claim and I'll get the cost of those wheels credited to my account. Now the third way is essentially going to be if you call MTD with your model and serial number and unfortunately find out that someone's already used your model and serial number to claim a new set of wheels, yet yours still has the old school plastic wheels installed and you don't want to run the risk of injuring yourself or others, there is going to be a third option where you can just buy the wheels and save a little bit of money. So I'll put an infographic up on the screen of my parts portal. If you were to purchase the service kit yourself, my cost as a dealer is about $102. And that service kit for someone purchasing it without a dealer account, they're gonna be looking at paying approximately $136. Now again, that kit does include the wheels, the bolts, the spacers, and the washers, so everything you would need to get this replacement done properly. However, if you wanted to save a little bit of money, you could just buy the wheels themselves. As you guys can see, they list for about $29 each, and the list price for both of those wheels comes to about $97. And when I ran a picture of this part number right here, this is the part number for just the single wheel, I saw that they did include the plastic spacer in behind them. So if you're ordering just the wheels separately to save approximately $36, then you may also have to order two of these flat washers here. And that's going to be a part number 736-0287. If you want, there's the size of those washers there and they go in behind the spacers. So the spacers do come with the wheels separately, but the washers do not. And just in case you guys missed it the first time around, I'll put that photo from my parts portal back up on screen. My cost for those washers are about $2 each and I think they list for like $3 and 30 something cents. So the cost ends up being like $6 for two of those washers if you were to buy them separately. So I've done the math here and if you buy the wheels that include the bushings and you also buy the washers all separately, instead of ordering this service kit here, essentially you're getting everything except the bolts 
what you end up saving is about $32, if my math was correct there. So for this particular machine, this was actually sitting in one of my customer's backyards. He had called me up and asked if I wanted it for parts. I ended up purchasing this in a non-running condition for $40 Canadian. So I was kind of taking a risk because I really didn't know much about the machine. He said it had ran a couple years previously. So I was basically taking a gamble on it, but the gamble may have paid off. As we can see here, this machine does feature an electric starter, so we can just plug a cable into there and you don't have to pull start it. However, we did completely redo the pull cord with some Sten's True Blue Diamond line there. We cleaned and rebuilt the carburetor, put a new fuel line on this thing. If you guys wanna see how to replace a fuel line professionally on one of these Tecumseh HSSK or HMSK snowblower engines without having to remove this recoil cover, I did post a video on that last week, which I will link in the top right of your screen. We also sprayed a little bit of black paint to make everything look a little bit nicer. And once we got this engine running and I decided that it was worth putting a little bit of investment into, we ended up replacing both of the belts there. So a brand new drive belt and a brand new impeller belt, as well as a brand new plastic belt cover right there because the old one was pretty worn. And I figured, you know what, might as well replace that as well. Now the two cables for the auger and the drive were unfortunately held on by a hose clamp. So we did purchase this little plastic bracket here. And we also went ahead and purchased two brand new auger and drive cables for this thing. And then apart from that, we do have the brand new wheels and tires. So this little snowblower here is looking pretty spiffy. And I know that because I have an MTD dealer account, you have to keep in mind that I am getting these parts at cost. So for anyone else, you may not see the value of putting all of these new parts onto a machine to resell. Whereas for me, the markup is gonna be there. So like I said, I took a chance. I bought this snowblower for $40 but with all the other parts that I've put into it, my total cost is about $115 into it, minus the oil and the fuel, which isn't a big deal, and also minus the wheels, because they were warrantied on this particular unit as part of the recall. So what am I gonna be able to sell this unit for? Maybe 275 at the top end here in Canada. This is a two-stage snowblower, but again, it's only a five and a half 22, so it's not a really big one, and I don't know if I mentioned this, but the transmission here is that of what you would see in like a self-propelled lawnmower. So you engage the cable for the drive similar to how a lawnmower would work. These things have small tires. My customer did say that he did find that this machine doesn't drive all that well in heavier snow. And I mean, let's face it, this thing's gonna have its limitations. It's not a very big machine. And just to finish the video off, I'm not sure if I'll sell this snowblower this season. So I went ahead and added some Gulf Pro Fuels Alkalate four stroke fuel. This fuel is good for up to two years once you open the cap or up to five years on a shelf with an unopened container. If any of you are in Canada and wanna get yourself some of this Gulf Pro Fuels in either four stroke straight fuel or two stroke premix, you can contact Small Engine Service. The number and the link for their website will be in the description down below. And last but not least, you don't want to just take these old wheels and throw them into the garbage because somebody could find them and think they're useful, try to put air in them, fill them up, they could explode and hurt somebody. So as part of this recall, it is going to say in the last step here, do not reuse the old wheel rim assembly before discarding them appropriately in the trash. Render them useless by drilling holes through the plastic rims. So we're going to do just that. I would recommend you take the air out of the wheel first and then drill your hole. Same thing for this one. So we got a couple holes in each wheel. Nobody's gonna be using those. We can now dispose of them properly and wrap up this recall for these plastic MTD snowblower wheels. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I know it's informational enough for those of you who may have never seen these units in the United States, because as far as I know, they may have only been produced in Canada due to the recall only listing Canada as the affected region. But I wanted to give you guys the info on that recall for those original plastic wheels that can pose a safety risk. You definitely don't wanna be running those on your snowblower because there is a risk for injury and you could end up getting hurt, which is never good. And if you follow the steps in this video, at least you'll have a few options, whether you wanna phone into the recall hotline or go ahead and purchase the parts yourself.
But with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week, so be sure to stop on by next week, check channel out for new content, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.